hi there just for sweets here so uh, we made a video of Hawaiian roast pork and I told you I'd bring it back after it was done cooking it's been cooking for about um, 12 hours and you can see all the juices and everything and how yummy it is so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna drain off a lot of this liquid and actually I'm gonna drain off most of the liquid because I like to keep a little bit of extra in there for juice and then we're going to shred it, and I'm going to put half in the container to make some tacos with, and half to make some barbecue pork sandwiches tonight for dinner. I have to go to work, so it's easy for my family if I just pre-make this for them, and then they can... I reserved probably about a half a cup to a cup of liquid at the bottom there, probably more like a half a cup. So what we want to do, um, if, actually let me finish saying what I was saying, is that um, it makes it easy for them to um, make dinner and have something not good to eat when I'm not here. So sometimes I like to pre-make these meals and these are easy ones to pre-make and I enjoy doing it. So okay, so I'm going to bring this closer to you. This is my container for the part that I'm going to put aside. I've got some barbecue sauce, some smoked paprika, and some pepper, but if you watch the other video on um, prepping this, ow, that was hot. <laughs> You'll see that, um, see how tender it is? It's falling apart. You'll see uh, that I put salt and all that stuff on it before. So it's already pre-seasoned. Wow, that was really hot. <laughs> I didn't expect it to burn me. Okay, so let's see here. Okay, so I've got half of the meat in here and half in the other bowl. I'm actually going to shred it all, but I want to kind of get this bone out of there. Now, remember, if you watch that video, it was a pork shoulder butt. Okay, see how tender it is? Look at that. I'm trying to get those extra garlic cloves out of there. Not that there's anything wrong with keeping them in there, because those are nice and tender as well and give it some flavor. But I'm going to take most of that out. Okay, so now what we want to do is we're just going to take two forks. I have one big fork, one small fork. If you have two big forks, it probably works better. Um, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to shred this pork. So you just take your, the two forks and you just keep going. Make sure that there's no additional bones. It should only be that one big bone that I took out. Look how good that looks. If you could smell this, you would be going, oh my gosh. Lots of times though, there's these big hunks of fat and I like to take those out, weed those out because there's nothing worse than getting a big hunk of fat when you're taking a bite of your sandwich. And it kind of grosses my, my kids out. So I try to get as much of that fat out of there as I can. There's, Cause remember it, it had a, it has a fat top to it or bottom and that's what we put in the bottom of the pan. So that's the, the fat I'm pulling out. You don't want to pre-trim it though, because if you pre-trim it, then you're taking away a lot of the flavor and the moisture that you get. So you want to just kind of go through and just get that out. So just keep shredding. Remove fat as you go along if you can find it. It smells, oh my gosh, so good. Remember we used that liquid smoke that was hickory. That was really good. Look how much pork that made, and that's only half. I want to make sure you can see that. That's only half of the pork roast. Look at that. That's a lot. That is a lot of meat. That will make a lot of sandwiches. Now this is a great thing to make for your Memorial Day weekend if you're going camping or going out to the lake for the day or, you know, having a big uh, potluck or whatever. These make, they're easy. You can make them quick. They're inexpensive. You can make a lot, a lot of it for a lot of people. And you just shred it up. Now, you know, you could use the whole pork roast if you want, but I'm trying to make a, a few meals out of this. I got to stretch my dollar any way I can. So there it is. It's all shredded. We're going to taste it before we put anything in it to see how the seasonings are. There's another piece of fat. Let's get that out of there. Okay. So we've got a few of those garlic cloves mashed up in here with it, which a little garlic never hurt anybody, right? 
Garlic is excellent for you. I put it in almost everything, if you haven't noticed. Whether it's the garlic galore, which is basically dehydrated garlic or fresh garlic. Okay, so we're going to taste this. Perfectly salted. Doesn't need an ounce of salt. The only thing I'm going to add is a little bit of black pepper. Mmm, that is so good. I might have to take this for lunch today and skip it for dinner. Okay, add some black pepper. And I'm going to add a little bit of smoked paprika to give it a little bit of a smokier flavor. Although it already has that flavor, I'm just giving it a little kick. One thing that I also do sometimes, except sometimes it gets a little spicy for my kids, is I cook my um, Hawaiian pork the same way you saw me make it, except I add uh, a chipotle pepper that's in adobo sauce. I add one of those in there to kind of give it a little bit of extra kick and a little bit of extra flavor. So that's, you know, something you could do as well. You could even add that in with the sauce if you want to. I'm not going to do that today because I don't want to make everybody's mouth burn. So then I have just a bottle of barbecue sauce. And you're going to want to mix that in there. You can leave a little bit, use about three quarters of the bottle. And I'm using a sweet and spicy barbecue sauce because we like that little bit of spice. And you're going to want to mix that all up in there. Oh, it smells delicious. Use any kind of barbecue sauce you want. You can make a homemade barbecue sauce. You know, actually, if you watch my video, oh, well, actually, I haven't made a video yet. Here I am. I'm thinking ahead of myself. Um, I told you in another video of mine that I made a sweet potato potato salad the other night. And that would be excellent with this. It had a hot bacon dressing over it. It was so yummy, and it would be a great complement to this sandwich. Okay, so there's our barbecue pork. I'm going to taste it one more time to make sure it's got all the flavoring. You just want to kind of mix that all up in there. And I'm going to taste this one more time. Mmm, really good. I think it could use a little bit more barbecue sauce. But remember, you want to save a little bit so that when you make your sandwiches, you can put a little squirt of barbecue sauce on top. One thing that I'm going to add to mine, as I always talk about, is Linda's Pantry. Her habanero mango jelly is the bomb. It is, I know I say it all the time, but I wouldn't say it if I didn't mean it. And that gives it a little bit of a sweet and spicy, extra little, you know, zing there. And I'm probably going to add that to my bun. I bought some Hawaiian sweet rolls. I bought the sub size ones to make my sandwich. And I'm going to add that to the top of the bun. And it's just going to give it that extra little pa uh, pound of flavor. All right. So there's our Hawaiian barbecue pork. It's all shredded. Looks great. There is enough for probably 15 sandwiches in here if not more. You can serve them open-faced. I'll show you how I'm going to do mine. So I have my Hawaiian sweet rolls and they're not, when you buy them sub size, they're not much bigger than a regular sweet roll. There's only six of them so I'm not going to make it because I need them for, for dinner tonight. Um, but you know, they're a little bit bigger. The rolls are cut in half of that, but these are the best. And I just buy the um, original Hawaiian sweet. And you're just going to open those up and pile this inside and add um, some extra barbecue sauce. And if you're me, you're going to add some habanero mango jelly to it. Serve it with um, a side of coleslaw or some sweet potato salad, which I'll get a video out for that. I am serving mine tonight just with... Um, some beans because I'm not here and I need something easy for my family to um, heat up. So this is just some steakhouse beans that they're going to heat up with it. Serve it all together and you've got a great, easy, fast. I put it in the, it took me 10 minutes last night to prep it and it's taken me 10 minutes to, to sauce it and shred it and it's ready to serve. So in 30 minutes you have a cheap, inexpensive, yummy, delicious, restaurant quality meal. Um, Last but not least, you saw me put that aside, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pre-shred this with the same forks, and there's, you see all the seasoning on top from when I, I seasoned it. There's a lot less fat in this side of it uh, because 
the bottom was where the fat, most of the fat was. So I'm going to go ahead and shred this just a little bit. I want to shred it before it gets cold. You want it to be hot or warm when you shred it. And this I'm going to put in a baggie and I'm going to set it aside, freeze it probably. Um, I might even add a little bit of that adobe chipotle to it because out of this side, I am going to make some uh, pork tacos. So, and this will make a lot of tacos as well. So I hope that uh, you get some good ideas out of this. One thing I will probably make is an avocado pico de gallo. Oh, that's not a big chunk of fat. Um, to put in it, and I have some fresh cilantro, and I have some lime, and I'll make a sour cream sauce to put inside this, or we'll just serve it by itself, because, uh, not, well, I love sour cream, but not everyone in my family loves sour cream. All right, so now we've shredded this side of the pork, so look at all that shredded pork that we have for, for uh, pork tacos. You could also make some uh, pork enchiladas if you wanted to. But look at all that. Wow, that's a lot of meat. So like I told you in my other video, you'll have to go back and see the price. I think that this pork, the pork and all the ingredients that I that I put in it cost me less than $20 or right around $20. And how many meals are you getting out of that? That's, that's a lot. So anyway, um, I hope you had fun with this. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to, to leave them on my page. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to my channel. I have a lot of fun recipes and a lot of uh, fun family pictures and you know I just try to just make it as low-key and fun as possible um, if you like this video please push the like button I've had a couple people push dislike buttons and you know you can dislike it and leave me a comment but I just if you don't like it you don't watch it so you know that's the way I feel I don't dislike anybody's videos but everybody is who they are um, Anyway, I hope you have a wonderful day. Serve some shredded pork this weekend for your Memorial Day fun. And, you know, serve it with some salads and some beans. And just have a good time. And uh, I'll see you the next time. Have a great day. God bless.